Today, Columbus Mayor Skip Henderson unveiled a new public health initiative planned for the coming months. The mayor tells News 3 it could have far-reaching effects. News 3's Kenzie Beach joining us now with more details. Well, that's right, Phil. The mayor, alongside co-chairs of the Mayor's Commission on Health, announced today that they're taking local health programming on the road. Three different types of mobile health units are coming to Columbus to serve many purposes. You know, listen, we believe firmly that, um, that, that, that health has a direct impact on so many other social issues. In Columbus, those issues include poverty, scholastic performance, and a severe uptick in crime. If you overlay, in fact, we did it. We took a, a map of pe people uh, with the highest health risk. Uh, with the lowest wages and the highest crime, they fit almost perfect, perfectly. The city is launching three different types of units, a mobile health care unit to give people access to medical care, as well as a mobile farmer's market and a recreational unit, all made possible through partnerships with Emory Healthcare, Piedmont, Feeding the Valley, you Grow, and more. The objective is to make sure that everyone in our community has access to all these services. Some of these areas that just don't have transportation available to them to get to grocery stores, to get to health, uh, medical uh, care, uh, or to get to a recreation center. The city plans to partner with Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman, who has already purchased a mobile gaming unit with a recent grant. We'd love to try to have some of our law enforcement to be, be present there too so that they get a chance to shoot baskets with a, a sheriff's deputy and play soccer with a, with a police officer. But they start to humanize the police and start to maybe develop a little bit greater level of trust. Dr. Stephen Liker and Phil Schuler, co-chairs of the Mayor's Commission on Health, have been working on the project for over two years. Mayor Skip Henderson says he plans to have the mobile units roll out by late spring or early summer of 2022. Phil, back to you.